Hello, right, good morning. We are back at Grantham and we've got the floor in and today we're going to be doing all the block work. So follow me. So as you can see, we put the concrete floor in yesterday. Well, I didn't, but someone did. <laughs> um, we've just got loaded out this morning and today we're going to be smashing up all the block work up to top of steel, which is actually underside of Joyce. So we've got loads to go out today. So we are going to crack on. So catch you in a bit. I said it flaps up onto your first block, don't it? Just like that. Okay. Yeah. So, if any water hits this, it runs down and out the weep holes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All we do is just build that in. So. Oh, that gear's lovely. <laughs> All right. So it just so it, that bonds to it then. Yeah. Oh, bond okay. that on like that. It ties. Tap them down. Okay. Yeah. Now that's holding the block work. Perfect, yeah? Mm. And that is it. Which is then, what about the insulation for this bit? Is that yeah, it? now I, I really sh I should I mean you should put it in now, but with it being such a small pillar, okay, I'm not putting it in just yet because it'll push everything over. I'm gonna wait for it to go off, okay? Okay. I need a half, okay? Yeah. So a blocking half is 220. Put your finger there, okay, and use it as a guide. You see that? Mm -hmm. Just score it like that. And all we do, mate, is just chase that mark all the way along. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Sand? Cool. There we go, it's quarter to ten and this is the stage we're at, we're just having a bit of a chill one. We've got uh, Drew pointing up, he's slowly getting there. I'm going to set this up there and run into that. He's easy. Right, Drew, mm -hmm. you're doing a good job pointing, everything looks alright, but this little bar, part here, right, you're doing it like this. Well, you kind of... You're doing that right and it's hard to get anything in there yeah. so what you have to do when you go low down scrape it flick your bar and pull up okay okay yeah so you're building on something you know what i mean you're not just sticking it in nothing and hoping it sticks yeah i have to just go just, up with it yeah so literally okay. just go up with it
So this is how we're fixing, right, our block work to this steel, okay? So we're using these ties, mm -hmm. and you see how I put these tie wires tight up to that steel as well. Well on. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to put that up to there. This is like a little self-tapping screw. I could do with an impact driver, but I've not got one. One, one right fitting. There we go. Now the tie is tied to it and this is tied to it, and then all I do is just lay my bed out, put the block on that, and then I tie to this, so it's all solid, yeah? Yeah, so, okay. Cool. Right, there we go, it's just gone quarter past 12. I've got Drew here pointing up, he's doing a lovely job, getting all the perks done, you're doing good, aren't you, mate? Yeah, not too bad. The best. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got everything up to lintel height at the moment. I've got 400 mil from underside of Joyce, so that's a block and a uh, cut. And I'll probably bed my lintel on in a little while, but yeah, so far it's going good. I've just got a whack of pad stone under that steel as well. So yeah, cracking on. Right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. measure to the top of my steel mm -hmm. which is uh, it's 175 mil so I'm gonna cut a load of blocks down lengthways yeah so 165 mil to allow for a 10 mil bed joint okay and that'll be perfect ready for uh, joist all right so, yeah, man, we'll that sounds cool this is for you, really, Drew. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So every time we've got a steel, right, you're meant to put a pad stone under it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've done a couple of knock throughs now, haven't we? Yeah. Where we've done pad stone. So here, I've just put this cut on to get me to work bricks. Okay. Mm -hmm. One four five. It's meant to be one fifty. Well, that's still all right. So if you see, I've got two engineering bricks under it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's because if you weren't to put strong bricks like engineering's or blues. Just like to ask that. Yeah, good, good lad. Um, this the block would probably crack over time because it's got so, so much weight pushing down on it yeah. that the block would eventually crack. Okay. I mean, in all fairness, this steel is connected to this, which is a pad stone in itself. But it's good practice to have a pad stone under steel. Yeah. So regardless, we're going to whack one on. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to you once it's built. <laughs> Past one, and this is the stage we're at. Got the pad stone built, and we're up to lintel height, uh, joist height there, lintel height here. Yeah, let's go get this lintel on. Got to do the brickwork first. I've got five courses to go on, and then I'll measure down and do my cut for the lintel. So, yeah, Drew's loving life, aren't you, mate? Yeah, man, always <laughs>
lintel part now, okay? Yeah. A lintel height is 2100. Yeah. I'm not measuring it because I can't. <laughs> so what we do here, right, my block works up nine horses, yeah? Yeah. All I do now, this is lintel height, I just measure down to that block work, right, 75 mil. Mm. We're not 10 mil off, so that's 65 mil. And I've got a 65 mil cut there. Either side, okay? Yeah. So, six on. Tape measure. Yeah. So, 150 more bearing. We've got 120 there. And here I've got 160. No? 180. So, I've just split the difference. It's not quite going to be 150, I'm 10 mil off. But anyway, you're meant to have 150 mil bearing either side, okay? Yeah. Or equal bearing anyway. So, once you've done that, check it for level. Should be level, hopefully. There you go, level across. We've got a pretty decent bearing. And uh, yeah, that's it, it's been bedded on. So yeah, man, it's all good, yeah? Oh, lovely, yeah. Sad, he's peasy, nothing to it. Right, there we go, it's quarter three, and this is the stage we're at. We've tied to that bad stain a little bit. Sat the lintel on, and I'm just gonna build over the lintel right now. So I've done my splits, so do a quick time lapse of this, and then I was gonna get the soldiers on, but the scaffolders will only knock them. So I'm probably just going to get these on and then tidy up. We've just had a little tidy up, a little sweep up in there. But yeah, that is pretty much everything done. We've got the lintel sat on. We are pretty much ready for scaffold, ready for George to go all the way along there. So when the scaffold goes up next, it's gonna be this whole perimeter to here. So the whole scaffold is gonna be going up and we're gonna be basically building that all here. But overall, it's been a pretty good day today. Drew's done all the pointing, it's not too bad. Like I say, it is. it's only block work, you know, but it's not too bad. But yeah, overall, it's been a really, really good day. Just a nice, steady day. Anyway, Sam, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.